So we got introduced to Generation 8 thanks to a Pokemon Direct, and I gotta tell you, being shown the area we're going to, I'm pretty excited. Looks like it's going to be based on Europe, with the main focus of Britain mixed in with some interesting areas. Maybe some outlanding areas, some mountains are thrown in there. It looks pretty good. And we got to see the start of Pokemon too. Not too chef. Not only that, but we are also shown tons of older Pokemon, classic battle mechanics, and capture mechanics, along with gorgeous graphics of the Switch. Definitely an upgrade from the 3DS. But one thing we were not shown were the legendary Pokemon. Which is why I've come up with a good theory for three legendaries, both Sword and Shield, as well as an extra. So sign in, sit right down, and get ready to find out what these legendary Pokemon are actually going to be. Hey, if you missed it again, Pokemon did release a full trailer of Generation 8. The game's names are called Pokemon Sword and Shield. Can we just get some of the memes out of the way right now before we jump right into the theory, though? Alright, here we go. Meme bonus round, folks. Alright, glad we got that out of our system. Sweet. By the way, I'm a Sobble kind of guy, so Sobble gang, rise up. You can pick the wrong starter if you want to, that's your choice. But uh, we all know where it's at, Sobble gang. One thing you can't pick though is the legendary Pokemon. And since we don't know what they are, you couldn't pick them anyways because we just don't know what they are. I have a really good theory about what they are though, and I think you're going to enjoy them. So, as I said, the region has a main focus on Britain, England. That's the type of country, but, you know, with a Pokemon twist on it. So, that area of our world, pokemon fight. Is that even a word? Well, even if it's not, it doesn't matter. With the name Sword and Shield, and the logos for each game, they give a sign that perhaps it'll be like a dog or a wolf legendary Pokemon. But, more importantly, it's a coat of arms type of symbol, or a crest of sorts. Again, being based upon Britain, we can look at several of these symbols to find one that might suit these games a bit more. And I think I found the perfect one. As I said before, it would be based upon a dog or a wolf, and that would be involved in the crest because these Pokemon are appearing in Sword and Shield's logo. I don't know if they're real Pokemon, they're minor, detailed, kind of ambiguously drawn dogs. However, I actually did find Dog Coat of Arms as well. So this is pretty surprising. Henry VIII's early coat of arms is what you're seeing here. Now, you might point out that, hey, this coat of arms has multiple creatures on it, right? <coughs> so we have the dog, but what about the others? How do they even fit into this? Put simply, Pokemon always uses threes. Two legendaries and usually a hidden. Three starters, things like that. So, the two legendaries would be the dragon and the dog, and the third being the lion. This particular coat of arms is based upon the, <laughs> uh, quite the title, uh, but, uh, okay, alright, here we go. It belongs to Henry VIII, by the grace of God, King of England and France, Defender of the Faith, and Lord of Ireland. Uh, quite the ego there he had, huh? And that's the short version, because later in his life it actually got longer. So be thankful for that. Now the motto on the bottom of the coat of arms is Duet et mon duet. And I am not French, so I butchered that pronunciation. But basically it means uh, God and my right. And it's the motto of the monarch of the United Kingdom. That was uh, quite a lot of information to process. So let's go ahead and unpack and recap. The coat of arms is quite popular and it happens to be used by the country that seems to be what Pokemon Sword and Shield are based on. Because they use three legendaries, the particular coat of arms could come to be because the three legendaries from the game series represented on the coat of arms. To add to this, Generation 7 had a lion to represent 
one of the game's mascots. Therefore, the lion would be the hidden legendary, similar to Zygo. So there we go. It's a theory, nothing solid, nothing 100% confirmed. But I think we will have a dog, dragon, and a lion as the legendaries for Generation 8. We do not have a lot of information for a traditional dragon Pokemon. We've never really even had a traditional dragon Pokemon. But a large amount of variations upon them have occurred within the series. That's cool. I still think it would be really cool to have a medieval approach to the traditional dragon uh, being a Pokemon legendary for this game. I think it would work out really, really well. Something like a fire dragon type. And, and oh my god, please, God. Do not make it a flying dragon type. If I am correct in my assumptions here. Game Freak, Pokemon Company, you hear me. Ice types can't be one shot in the sweet dragon, okay? Please don't do that. The dog, though, would make sense because uh, we already have Arcanine, a legendary Pokemon in itself of its description, and Growlithe from way back in Generation 1. And since then, there have been plenty of good boys along the way in the form of dog Pokemon as well. So. Uh, Game Freak and the Pokemon Company not really adverse to adding dogs to their games. A dog legendary wouldn't be impossible either. The problem is that we already have Snubble, which is a bulldog type Pokemon, and we already have a Pokemon that represents the Scottish Terrier as well. So I'm not really sure as far as a dog would be concerned what would represent that. I'm not sure, but the developers really let me down. Uh, except for that ice cream cone Pokemon. I'm not letting that go. Guys, I'm never going to let that go. I don't care if it involved a contest. Someone should have put the hammer down on that one. Finally, the lion. Ah, we already had a lion. So it's not so shocking how the lion is going to look. Perhaps what would be amazing would be that it would turn out to be a chimera. Now, that would be a really interesting legendary and set it apart from the previous lion, legendary, kind of type. I don't know, some some people would consider it an Ultra Beast. It was the representation of Sun and Moon's cover. So, you know, legendary covers, game covers, there you go. A lion can only look so different so many times before it blends in together with a lot of other Pokemon. So without going deep into the history of King Henry and the coat of arms and England during the time, I am just hoping that the new legendaries are represented with this said coat of arms. If they are, I would definitely love to see the dragon the most. If they're not, then, I mean, let's just hope that Pokemon doesn't disappoint us. If you take a look at the map of the new region, you can definitely see that there's a lot of castles in the area. There's a lot of homage to what Britain was and Britain currently is, along with several other countries mixed in together. So, if it was going to be based on something, and they're using Britain as the centralized city, the unit that they're going to reference to the most, then that would be a really, really good indication that, likely, they're going to draw from historical connotations. So, what legends and lore are within Britain that the Pokemon Company could draw on? Especially if they're taking more of a traditional medieval approach, uh, with modern aspects sprinkled in from that era. That would be very, very interesting to see. I mean, it's not like they haven't sprinkled in people wearing night outfits before, because they definitely have had that happen. The point is, the question becomes, which pieces of lore are Game Freak and the Pokemon Company going to select to develop into new Pokemon? Obviously, there's tons of things to select from, but which ones are going to be the driving forces? If they are dogs, perhaps it is two opposing dogs for whatever reason. I don't really know which one would represent the sword and which one would represent the shield and the variations of that, but I think my theory holds a lot of water. 